Alrighty, man. What is going to be better? Welcome back to the channel, man. This is episode two of three for today, man. I'm still trying to figure out what the, today's third video is going to be, but I kind of have an idea, man. But today, today's episode, this challenger, as y'all can see, man, we just, just, just had it painted and everything, man. And tell me why we already have a buyer for it, bro. We already have a buyer for this guy, but they have requested a paint change. They want a, uh, they wanted it to be purple. Like they want it to be purple and stuff. So they want us to do a whole another paint job on this guy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Before we actually uh, sell it to them. So, yeah, I don't know how you guys felt about this uh, paint job yet because that video hasn't even went up on YouTube, but the new paint job will be thrown on here uh, and this guy will be sold to its new owner, man. This is probably gonna be like, what, our second build to sell so far right now? You know what I'm saying? We ain't really been working on marketing the cars, but we just been, we just been actually getting them guys made and stuff, so. And I'm surprised that 96 Impala actually had a buyer too. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? We went ahead and, uh, you know, I don't know what happened to him actually. He just never got back to me. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, also, man, I almost forgot, man. I was supposed to tell y'all what we supposed to be doing, man. We gotta go check out a new crib in this episode. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just a little side crib. Uh, Smoke on the Water is having like some little festival or some little event or something like that. So we will be going to that as well. And then. Um, I believe that oh we're picking up our new our new new whips man we got two new whips that your boy franklin is buying and just to give you a little sneak peek about them uh both both of those whips are gonna cost about i want to say about six hundred thousand dollars combined so and we're picking up both of them today uh, in the last episode man i mentioned we were gonna get a body kit thrown on them i'm trying to figure out uh if we should go ahead you know what? yeah we'll go to smoke on the water in the challenger before we drop it off but we're actually going to go ahead and um, put body kits on these two cars instead of rims and all that other crazy stuff. Like th this car, these two cars are going to be Franklin's personal builds and they're going to be his personal cars. Uh, they're just going to be added to his list of cars that don't have, you know, crazy rims or anything. So hopefully you guys do, you know what I'm saying, enjoy this episode here today. Uh, because uh, I don't even think we're going to be dropping. Actually, we are dropping the whip off for its body kit at the end of this episode too. So, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna be able to get those guys real soon. Now, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even know which one I wanna drop off first because they're both sexy as hell, man. Like, oh my gosh, y'all just don't even know. Y'all gonna see, man. Y'all gonna see once we get down there, though. But hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode. Nonetheless, you know, I did see some comments that were saying that you guys wanna see some cars without rims and stuff again. So that's where this episode is coming from. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get us some cars without some rims, man. And then, oh, you know, I ain't even gonna talk about it, man. I'ma just, I'ma just do it, man. Simple. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode. Uh, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know if we will be doing any trapping in this episode or not. So, you know what I'm saying? We may pop up at the meth lab. Uh, if you know, what, let me see. We may pop up at the meth. Yeah, we may pop up at the meth lab because the house that we gotta go look at is actually kind of in the country. Kinda, just a little bit. So. We're gonna be, uh, we're definitely gonna go ahead and make our way out to the meth lab, do a little meth lab trap, and probably catch a few sales out there. Make some of this money back. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta go ahead and, um, I'm gonna be dropping about 600,000. That means we gotta go to the, we gotta go to the stash spot, and I gotta pick up a little bit of money, because we only got like 70,000 on us. So yeah, we're gonna have to go to the stash spot to pick up a little cash. Is the smoke on the water? So they got like a little event or a little festival or something like that. They were supposed to be giving out free weed and all this other crazy stuff. So you know what I'm saying? Your boy had to pull up. Yeah, I ain't pulling up for the free weed tonight. I'm pulling up for the festival. You know what I'm saying? Franklin got cash. We don't need free weed. You dig what I'm saying? Somebody wants to smoke right here? What's good, bro? What's up? Oh yeah, y'all didn't even see Franklin got a new haircut too. Hold up. Yeah, stand down. Yeah, Franklin got a new haircut too, man. Let me know what y'all think about that there, man. I had to do that before I started the episode, man. Franklin did not want to go to no shop with y'all. So, uh, let me know what y'all think about the box. You know, we're growing the hair out. Finna see if we can get them dreads back. So, uh, yeah, let's see what Smoking the Water talking about, man. See, look, they got pounds on the pounds on the table. Letting folks hit the gas. Shit, let me hit some, bro. Hold up. Y'all got some over here for me to hit? Hey, bud, Trying to share some of that weed, good? Somebody need to share some. See, man, they got everything up in here. So, it, it ain't even really, like, 
you know, a crazy event or nothing. They just they just giving out some free weed, letting you smoke out here. They got some couches and stuff. Okay, hold up, man. Let me go and have the. Let me go ahead and shop real quick. Hey, bro. Oh, he ain't even. He don't even work here. What, bro? Where the work is at? You know where the damn work is at, bro. We need. Uh, I could buy a soda right here. Is it weed infused? Let's see. We're about to find out. You know, you got some weed infused sodas out there, man. Let me know what y'all think about Franklin's haircut. I ain't even gonna lie. It looks kind of. It looks a little too modded. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lie, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Alright, so let's go ahead. We gonna came to the event here, man. You know what I'm saying? We did what we had to do over here. Now what we gotta go ahead and do is we're gonna drop this guy off at a Los Santos Customs because the paint job that he wants done, he wants it painted, painted. He doesn't want to wrap. He wants it painted, painted. So we gotta drop it off at a Los Santos Customs uh, for this job right here. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. I'm gonna have to rip this wrap off as well, man. So you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to rip this wrap off. And that's kind of sad too because it didn't even stay on that long and I didn't even get you guys' opinions on it. Uh, before it even got taken off the Challenger, but you know it is what it is, man. Buddy, them requested a whole another paint job, and I'm I'm surprised he, he wants it purple, like of all colors, purple. Like you don't he ain't fuck with the, the cream orange. Come on, now this cream orange look a little too spiffy. Can't not fuck with the cream orange. But I mean, it is what it is, man. Let's just go ahead and make our way down here. Y'all already know we're gonna keep these large batches going. Cause I got a feeling we're gonna end up doing a, probably a, like a one to three million dollar meth lab sale today. I don't wanna do nothing too crazy, nothing too big. Just wanna make this 600,000 back. That's really it, so. We, I, you know, I probably won't even take a crazy, 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 um, you know, crazy, crazy, um, you know, deal. Cause I kind of want to stack it up. I want to do what you guys want me to do and stack up the meth lab and then do one crazy huge bulk sale. So that, that's really what I'm waiting on. That's why I'm just stacking up every episode and you know what I'm saying, man. Frankly, I'm making a bunch of money from it too. So yeah, we're gonna get rich off of it. But all right, we done made our way on over here to Los Santos Customs. We get to drop this guy off so that you guys can actually, you know what I'm saying get ready for the next paint job that's going on here man it's gonna be the first car that we ever did that literally had the custom paint job that we picked on it for a very short period of time all right man y'all already know man i would call my boy z up to take me but i still haven't replaced that wagon so i'm gonna go to call a taxi <laughs> can i get a cab right away not a problem a driver's on the way all right thanks my boy Franklin needs look like he needs to work out. We need some jewelry. That's what we need. Yeah, we need some jewelry. That's what my boy need, bro. I was I'm sitting up here wondering like why my boy looks so regular. Like he looks like a regular civilian. Like he just looks regular. You know what I'm saying? So I figured it out. But we need some jewelry. So yeah, we we might make a, a stop at the jewelry store or something like that. Probably get some jewelry. Some watches, some you know, some rings or something. Man, this taxi don't come. I'm just hopping one of these now, cause. But yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that's what we're really missing. We're missing jewelry for my boy. Let me take this duffel bag off real quick too. Oh, it just changed my boy's pants. That's something I was not trying to do. I don't even remember what pants we had on. I think we had. Oh yeah, we had these. Okay. Take that duffel bag off. So yeah, man. Um, looks like I'm about to steal. Yeah, I'm about to steal one of these because I ain't got time to be waiting. I just realized the exhaust comes off the side, bro. I never knew that. That is very unique, right there. Ain't gonna lie. That is very unique. Somebody snitching on me? Somebody just snitched on me. Yeah, my game is freeze framing so bad right now too and I have no idea why. Alright man, we're just gonna make our way down here to Simeon shop. I ain't even gonna worry about what them folks got going on. Call it 12 on me and shit. 
You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna make our way down here and hop straight into. See, I don't know where them freeze frame, where them freeze frames or frame freezes be coming from. Cause like my game would do it and then go really, really smooth, like nothing was ever happening. It's like I don't get it, bro. I really don't understand what's going on with my game and those these frames, bro. But all right, it's like it's like there's too much for the game to handle, so it just freezes up. Like I don't understand it, but here we go. We done made it over here. I'm gonna show you guys the two whips that your boy Franklin is investing in for his personal whips now. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this right here. I'm going to show y'all whip number one. It's a 2020 Cullinan, man. Now, so you guys may be wondering, a 2020 Cullinan? You finna put a body kit on that? Indeed, man, indeed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 12 was right there. But yeah, we will be putting a body kit on this Cullinan right here, man. Let me know what y'all think about this right here. I finally got one that actually, uh, you know, worked pretty good. Like with the interior working and stuff. If you guys remember my last one, the interior did not work on it. So, yeah, we got the interior working on this one. And then our other car that will be getting a body kit thrown on it is the 2019 Lamborghini Urus. So, I know a handful of y'all probably already know what body kits I'm talking about. Uh, because there's only like you know there's only like a handful of companies that will do body kits for these cars these type of cars so um you guys definitely gotta let me know in the comment section down below what you think uh, about these decisions here uh we gotta pay six hundred thousand dollars for these guys and i want to drive the Aries. i ain't gonna lie we're gonna drive this guy first and this is probably gonna be the car that we're gonna end up taking to the uh the new house too so that we can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, uh, pay for the new crib. I mean, not new crib. We're not buying a new crib. I just, oh my God, we are just checking out a new crib. Jesus. Ha, I just got that all, all twisted up, man. Sitting up here talking like we about to buy a new crib. We ain't even, we ain't finna buy nothing. We just moved to the, uh, to the spot we at now. So we ain't finna get no new crib just yet. And we gonna keep getting whips though. All right, so we gotta pull up over here. I gotta take six hundred thousand out real quick, so we can go ahead and pay for these two. And I, I ain't even going uh, front to you guys, man. I already know the Lambo Urus and the Hur uh, not the Huracan, the uh, the Urus and the Cullinan. They're both combined not worth six hundred thousand dollars in real life, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I think they are. I think they're worth even more than that, actually. Because if I'm not mistaken, the Cullinan is like a $300,000 truck. And the Cullinan, uh, the, um, the Urus is like a, the Urus is what? A $250,000 truck, I think? I'm not even 100% sure on that. But I, I do know that the Urus is less than $300,000. And the Cullinan is about 300000 if not more. I think the Cullinan is the one that's more. And that one may be 400000 if I'm not mistaken. Like, them them things are expensive. Like, Rolls Royce is up there. And that and it's crazy, bro. Like, Rolls Royce is way up there. But, yeah, man. We got the cash. Let's go ahead. Let's pay it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get this cash up off us. 600000 minus 600000 there we go. So now we now own a Lamborghini Urus and a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Like some of you guys really been wanting your boy to actually go ahead and buy. Uh, we will be getting more old schools as well. I know I got a handful of y'all. Y'all been wanting some, some old schools on the channel too. So we will be getting some old schools, man. I wanted to pop a save real quick, man, so we don't lose all that progress. But all right, so what we need to go ahead and do is I want to go ahead and check out that new crib but we got that color now we got to pick the color now up and take it to the house first i want to drive the earth that's, that's basically what i was going to do i was going to drive the earth um around to the new house and stuff so what we may go ahead and do is let's take the earth up to the crib because we got to drive the color now to the crib to park the color now and then take the earth to the new house that we're going to go look at i think that'd be a good a good way to do it 
So, yeah, man. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think about these two new picks of whips. These two new whips. Two new whips. And I ain't even gonna lie, man. I done seen a few uh, Urises in real life. Bro, these trucks are crazy in real life, bro. Like, oh my Jesus. Like, there was even one of these. They actually drove very near to where I'm at right now. Like, these, like it was parked in the parking lot. And my girl actually was in the... I remember I was in the Kroger. Like, I was in Kroger at the time when it pulled up. So, I didn't even, like, hear it or nothing like that. But my girl, she said she heard it. She was, you know, when it pulled up. Bro, apparently these things are, like, insanely loud. Which I kind of already knew. It's Lambo. You know what I'm saying? But... Apparently these things are insanely loud to the point where like you hear them across parking lots over multiple cars So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's way different All right, wait, we got 0.8 miles until we reach the crib so we can go ahead and park this guy and then I'm gonna catch a lift to pick up the color now And then we can go ahead and make I don't know why my game is doing this freeze framing, but this shit is retarded bro. I swear this freeze framing is retarded, bro. But it, it, it is what it is, man. All right. Whew. Gotta make it happen, man. Gotta make it happen. So let's go ahead. We almost there. And now I ain't even gonna lie. I kind of do want to put some rims on this guy. But at the same time, when we put this body kit on there, I don't think we're gonna have any rims that's gonna look good with the body kit. Uh, and it's the same for the color now. But the color now, ooh, the color now's rims are actually gonna look really, really good. Like, real good on the um you know the color nets rims are gonna look good because they kind of like um they're kind of like ben's rims in my opinion but they're not ben's rims like they just look real good i just like them a lot man you know what i'm saying i just like them a lot so i hope you guys uh, do enjoy the episode that the last man i just squeezed out through that oh okay all right it took us a while to actually get up here too i'm surprised But all right, so we done made it up here finally, Jesus, man. Anyway, lot, man, I got a little sidetrack, man. My mind is kind of everywhere right now. That's kind of why it seems like I'm like out of place or you know out of order. I feel like I'm, I don't know, man. I feel like I just popped out of nowhere and now the video is a little all over the place, just a little bit. I'm gonna go to park this guy. I honestly don't even know how I want to park it if we're gonna go get the color now. You know what, I'll park it right here. Park this guy right, oh, that's too close. I be forgetting, man, can't park it too, too close, otherwise we won't be able to get in and out. All right, so I'm gonna go to catch a, uh, we're gonna call it taxi, so that we can go ahead and, you know, I can skip the drive, that's the wrong taxi number to call. There we go. Can I get a cab? I'm sending one out right now. Cool. Now, why didn't you send me one before? I don't know why didn't you send me out no live before. All right, man, we're waiting on that joint to come. I'm going to go ahead. Let's start up a new batch. I know that because I know the cab is going to come right here. Golly, man, it's gonna take forever to come though. Unless I feel like something might be wrong with my taxis again. Like they don't never come no more. Should we just call the taxi? I don't know. Let's we'll wait and see, man. That car just spawned right there. I literally watched that. I watched that happen. That, that car just spawned right there. So, so what's like? This kind of makes me not even want to get into the taxi. Hey, I need a cab. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Oh, was it? Is it because I moved? Because I was, you know, we was in the driveway when I was calling it. I don't know. It's that switch right here, man. I tell you, like, I wait, <laughs> bro. All right, you know what, man? I ain't even finna do it, man. Well, you know, I just call. I'm gonna just call a, a call a taxi. I'm gonna catch y'all once we get there, cause I ain't even finna worry about, uh, you know, actually sitting through this driving with y'all a second time. 
So I will see you guys once we get back to the color then. Oh, whoa, what just happened? My hair. Alrighty, here we go. We got the color in. Let's go ahead and hop on into this guy. And let's go ahead and let's make our way back to the crib so we can take this guy to the crib now. I ain't even gonna lie, man. Once this color in gets his body kit, the color in may be my favorite. Like, and y'all may see why, man. Y'all are gonna see why, cause oh my gosh, this joint's gonna look really good, man. Once we actually get it, once we actually get it back. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode, none the latest. I'm, and I, uh, I still don't know what I want to do for a third video. Still, man, I don't even had a little bit more time to even think I might do another trapping episode. But I'm not 100% sure yet. You know, if I do another trapping, and, well, you know what? You know what? We'll do some meth lab trapping, man. We'll do some meth lab trapping. But. Anyways, man, besides the fact, man, besides the fact, man, moving on, man, what's been going on with you guys, man, because I feel like now I need to know something about how y'all been feeling about the series, how y'all been feeling about the channel, how y'all been feeling about your boy Nuka, man, what's going on, y'all fucking with, y'all fucking with the new grind, y'all, like, what's up, man, let me know, let me know how y'all feel about everything that's going on, this coronavirus shit crazy, the world losing its mind, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot going on. <laughs> Oh man, I might just talk about the coronavirus in the next video so that way I can do a full video. You know, just giving my insight or giving my input on the coronavirus, man. Because coronavirus is, is, is weird. it's serious, man. It's serious. It's so, alright, man. Let's go ahead and make our way on up here. I can close that out. We're almost at the house, actually. I didn't realize sometimes these drives, they, they go by quick, pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, man, you guys could definitely let me know what you guys think about all this coronavirus business and stuff, man, because, man, the, I, I kid you not, man, the world is losing its mind over this stuff, but it's really Americans, bro, like, America is losing its mind over the coronavirus business, bro, and it, it's hilarious, bro, I kid you not, it is hilarious, man, so, like, I, I'm just laughing at a bunch of it. it, you know, obviously I'm taking it serious, I be forgetting sometimes, though, like, you know, when it comes to, you know, washing my hands and, you know, touching gas pumps and stuff like that. I do forget to, you know, watch what I touch and stuff like that sometimes. But, you know what I'm saying? When, when it comes to time to eat, though, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I cannot eat without washing my hands. And I've always been like that. Even before this coronavirus shit even started up. I've kind of always been like that. Like, I gotta have my hands washed before I do, like, before I touch any food or anything like that. So, but, man, besides all that, man, this coronavirus business. Coronavirus. <laughs> oh, that's too funny to me, man. That is too funny to me. It's like, man, it's just, it's like, it's just the, the way people are reacting to it is just funny, man. And then I've been watching videos, um, you know what I'm saying, of people, uh, people trying to, you know, combat coronavirus and stuff. It, bro, the things people are doing is hilarious. Like man, oh my God, folks! Folks think that um, just like like I know I know a bunch of y'all already know about like the glove situation that's going on. People wearing gloves and literally they're not taking the gloves off for nothing. They're wearing them everywhere, trying to fight the coronavirus. It's like, bro, you're stupid. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like they, they like uh, my girl was just watching a video yesterday of this this one lady was eating her food she went and bought some mcdonald's and was eating her food with her gloves still on it's like what what was the point of wearing the gloves ma'am you, you could have just you know what i'm saying you could have just had your hands out and then you would have been good that, that that was just like that was funny to me man that was just real funny to me like they like folks real deal are out here you know not even really paying attention to what they're really doing uh, you know what I'm saying to what they're really doing with these gloves and 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 the mask situation too, Brad. Like, oh my God, folks wearing masks everywhere, and then like like they'll put a mask on, Brad. You're you're driving your car with a mask on. You're pulling up everywhere with a mask on, Brad. Like that that's just funny to me, Brad. Like I don't know why, Brad, but 
that that whole mass situation is even funnier because there's doctors who have even talked about it and they said that you shouldn't be wearing masks like you shouldn't you shouldn't wear a mask it, it, it's not like it's not beneficial to you know regular people like us to be wearing masks all the time so man when i seen that and then the fact that people still wear masks like like both y'all folks don't listen bro y'all just don't listen and, it, and it's hilarious to me man it, it's hilarious it's like with the cup noodle situation, man. You know, you ain't even supposed to be warming up no cup noodles. You're supposed to heat up the water and pour the water into the cup. But people putting them cups in the microwave. I'm people. <laughs> hey, <you> talk about <laughs> Oh, man, bro. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. It's just a bunch of small things, bro. Like, life is just funny, bro. Like, it, like, life is just funny. It's funny and crazy at the same time, man. And I feel like I've been rambling this whole video, and I apologize. But I know y'all probably don't give a damn. I yeah, just watching the video, man. <laughs> appreciate that, man. Appreciate the support. Appreciate all that. But, uh, yeah, man. All jokes aside, man. All jokes aside. Coronavirus is serious. These cases are getting really ridiculous out here. And people need to stop leaving their cribs. Stop sneezing, bro. If you sneezing and coughing, if you got a little bit of sickness, stay your way ass home. Don't bring your way ass out there, though. I don't know what's up with folks, man. Get, they have a little bit of sickness and, and still decide to bring their ass up out the door. Like, are you stupid? Are you stupid or are you stupid? Cause, cause I don't even know. <laughs> Shoot, I be I catch myself sneezing from like dust or something like like you know weed weed will make you sneeze and cough and stuff. So I I catch myself sneeze. Bro, the designer house is still in my game. Oh my God, guys. The designer house is still in my game. Well, here's the house that we're pulling up to that we gotta check out. Uh, okay. Is I don't think is is this breakable? Okay. But this is the house that we're checking out right here, bro. I forgot all about the designer house being in my game. Ooh, wee man. Franklin's probably gonna end up buying that guy. We're gonna put some cars outside at that house and everything. All right, man, so we done made it here at the house. We got the garage location here. I ain't gonna lie, man, this video does feel like it's everywhere and I strongly apologize for that, man. I will do better for the next episode. <laughs> I would do way better for the next episode, man. But all right, so here we go, man. This is a very small and simple house. It's not really crazy. It's kind of similar to the house that we are in right now. All right, so, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, the bedroom. Hallway. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even know where the bathroom at. Uh, the bathroom is at in this house. Like, is there a secret wall or something? Let me see. See, I don't even know if there's like a secret wall or anything. But like, you come right here, and you know, this is to come out to the backyard. See, and and, and this is about it. It's like this is a very small house. Yeah, I don't see Franklin really moving here to be honest with you guys, because it's it's very small. Like, this is the definition of small. The house that we're in right now is considered a small house too, but this has like no garage space or anything either. Like we could only put like maybe four, four cars. Yeah, just about four cars here without having like, you know, some very strong difficulties trying to move cars around. So you can put two in the garage and then two right behind, you know, those two. And But that's about it. There, there will be no more that you can really put here. Like, here, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the front right here. Yeah, you see how I got the urge right there? We can park another car right here. And then we'll be able to put like, you know, one or two more cars here. Oh, actually we could put a little line of cars right here on the side. Okay, never mind. That's book too soon, man. We might be able to do a little something, something with a crib like this. But let me know, man. We might actually use this house right here to start um, Franklin's real estate business uh, back up. This could be the first house that we actually sell and try to show a customer. So uh, you guys can let me know what you guys think about that. Because uh, I know you guys definitely want the real estate business to pop back up. So, all right. Now, I do want to go ahead and do a little bit of meth lab business. Uh, 17000 And what, what was this? One supply cost twenty three. We got 80,000 grams. Oh my shit. 
We are almost full. We are almost full. Okay. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I kind of want to wait until this batch, this current batch, is, uh, batch finishes. But I'm gonna arrange a deal. Let's see what we gotta do. Seventy-one thousand grams. Okay. See now that is too big of a deal. You know, I told you I don't want to do anything crazy. We're trying to save most of our meth. So let's see, we got 58,000 grams, 5.1 million. I don't think we're going to get any light deals. Look at this. Oh, there we go. 1,900 grams for for $200,000. Okay, that's, that's a good deal right there. But let me know what y'all think about this, man. Should we move back? It looks like the house may be on the market, bro. Don't nobody live here still. Okay. Let me know, man. Let me know. I completely forgot about this crib. Let me know if y'all want your boy Franklin back at the designer house. And then we can go ahead and sell our other houses. You know, the Vespucci apartment is supposed to be for rent. No one has said it's up for it yet, though. But that apartment is up for rent. Waiting on some folks to hit us up for it. You know what I'm saying? We can go ahead and, I guess, do like 2000 2000 a day on that one. You know, that 2000 a day, that's equal to 2000 a month. You know what I'm saying? And we live in Los Santos. Watch out, man. Why well, I just slid into that guy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now where are we going for this sale? Because this street feels like a long ash. Oh, it's taking us by the meth lab. For 1,900 grams, man, $200,000, we're going 3.4 miles away. Which should be, you know, that's all right, man. It's all right. A good, you know, a good little profit made. And then on top of that, 1,900 grams, that's half. That's like half of a, uh, you see, like right there, boom. 4,700 grams. 2,000 grams, that's only half of a, uh, a very large batch. So... Some real good money right there, man. Real good money. Definitely go ahead and just make our way there. And uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy. Now, I remember the last time Franklin actually owned an Urus. It was so long ago, man. The last time Franklin owned a, uh, an Urus was like season two, if I'm not mistaken. And I've always wanted him to get another one, but I never really had the, the story the storyline plot for it. Like, there was never really nothing planned for it. It kind of works out now. It's Franklin's filthy damn rich, trapping. You know what I'm saying? He got millions in the bank. So this this was really like, you know, kind of nothing. And then on top of that, we can make all that money back with a couple sales at the meth lab or one sale at the meth lab. And, you know, we, we made a huge amount of profit back. So why the hell not? You know what I'm saying? Why the hell not? Let's go ahead. Let's, let's make us some more money. So let me see, man. I'm kind. Of, I'm trying to decide if I should go ahead and take a break after this before doing the third video, so that I can go ahead and you know spend some time getting these videos uploaded and posted. And I think that's that may be what I might go ahead and do, or while I set up the next video, I'm gonna go ahead and get these videos uh, started. So yeah, that'll be a good idea, man. That'd be a good idea. See, like, why am I getting these freeze frames? I really hope you guys do not mind them, but I know you do. I know you do. I know it's a problem. I'll fix it. I'll fix it, guys. I'll fix it. I know it's a problem. <laughs> but all right, so we got a mile and a half before we make it to our destination. So that we can go ahead and make this happen, man. Make this sale happen. $200,000. And we may do one more. I'm going to see. We may do one more depending on how far it is and where we got to go for it. But we may do one more meth sale. Because, you know, $200,000... Uh, now it's profit, but we would still be four hundred thousand dollars in the hole. So, uh, like, look at these freeze frames. Like, why? Ah! Now I'm looking at my game. I'm making sure that they. You know, I know they're showing up in the video. So, yep. See, there they go right there. It's like my game is like constantly trying to spawn something in as I'm driving and stuff. So. Since it's struggling to try and spawn those items in, or you know, my PC isn't 100% strong like it was before to spawn these items in, it's like it's like it just freezes while you're trying to load it. So, you know what I'm saying? Actually, 
I think this may be because my game isn't on my SSD anymore. I may need it. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Got a road hump. I may have to put my game, put my GTA 5 back on my SSD. I think that's a problem. So I'm gonna work on that after this. I'm never gonna work on that. See if I can get that to work. I'm not even sure if that's even gonna work. Because man, GTA them became so difficult to just change the locations. Like when they came up with this new launcher and stuff, man, like Rockstar really made it so much difficult to just do small changes on their games. It's like, uh, like why are y'all making things difficult? But uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right, man, it's gonna make that two hundred thousand dollars sale. See, like my game is freezing every time I make, every, anytime I do anything. Oh, I locked it. All right, so you know we're going to we're going to cut it short right there, so I can go ahead and spend some time figuring out why my game is freeze framing and stuff. So with that being said. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Real Headlife series. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. Look at that. Like, why? If you guys did enjoy man, make sure to drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links in the description down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace on out.